Now, let us discuss about what are the various core competencies which are required for a competent clinical pharmacist. When I say core competencies, the first and foremost core competency when a clinical pharmacist is there in the ward rounds is to know how to take the medication history interview of the patient. Next comes the interpretation of the lab results, understanding and diagnosis and prognosis of the disease, medication therapy management, medication error management, ADR management, the finding out the drug interactions in the prescription, pharmacoeconomics, drug information and patient counseling. So these 10 core competencies are the 10 commandments for a competent clinical pharmacist. Whenever a clinical pharmacist is inside the hospital during the ward rounds, wanted to have their identity, they should have these competency skills. When I say medication history interview, it is the information what the pharmacist should get from the patient or the patient attenders about what type of medications the patient is already taking. Say for example, if the patient, a hypertensive patient has got the other comorbidity, say gout, what type of medication for gout he is taking, whether he is taking allopurinol or he is taking febuxostat. If he is taking allopurinol, what is the dose in which it is given? It is 100 milligram or febuxostat 40 milligram. How long it is being taken by the patients? Is there any other compliance? Is there any other operations or is there any other surgical treatment he has undergone? Lot of information what is gained by the review of the medication order as well as by interviewing the patient for their past medical and medication history, it will help the physician to have a proper rational drug therapy for that particular patient. When I say interpretation of lab data, Say for example, pancreatitis, immediately you see the amylase levels are high, gout, uric acid levels are high, HbA1c levels more than 7. So interpreting the lab data is another core competency which a pharmacist should develop. On seeing the lab data, you should be able to judge what type of disease the patient might have and what might be the line of treatment. When you say medication therapy management, the entire therapy, the rationality of the therapy need to be understood. If there is any error, medication error, that need to be informed to the particular doctor or to the particular physician. Any adverse drug reactions developed by the patients to the drugs. If there is any interacting drugs, major drug interactions are there that need to be changed by informing to the particular physician and always see to it that the cost-effective therapy is done. And any information, the latest information, either on the drugs or on the interactions or on the adverse drug reactions or on the latest development in the field of medicine, if the physicians or the practitioner wants to know, the pharmacist should be able to give. And at last but not the least, the patient-oriented services like patient care through patient counseling Information regarding the drugs and the disease to the patient need to be given through patient counseling, proper patient counseling. It is not necessary that all the points need to be informed to the patient. It should be patient-specific patient counseling.